Hey everyone, thank you for uh, coming to my session. It's uh, really a great opportunity for me to uh, present here. Uh, my name is uh, Luke Han. I'm coming from uh, Shanghai, China. And uh, this is uh, how uh, maybe four or three times here uh, for the strata, and the uh, second time uh, in London. And uh, today I will introduce a little bit about the Apache Kini use case, uh, particularly in China and uh, Japan. Yeah, you see the topic is in China, but uh, before my trip, I got a use case from Yap Japan, so yeah from this one. Actually, the Apache uh, killing community is very huge, and uh, there are a lot of uh, you know, uh, use cases from uh, the world wide. But I want to just uh, uh, narrow down so these uh, two areas and the remaining others for my next uh, strat event. OK, so I am uh, a VP of Apache killing and uh, also co-founder and uh, uh, CEO of uh, Killing Jeans Inc. And uh, yeah, let me uh, introduce uh, all of them. And uh, today, I will introduce uh, from, uh, from uh, different uh, parts. The first is uh, we will introduce a little bit about uh, Apache Kini itself. Uh, I don't know how, much, how many people you know. Could you raise your hands? How many people know Apache Kini? Well, that's good. Looks good. OK. And uh, later, we will introduce about uh, how, uh, uh, why uh, our customer and users uh, pick up like Apache Kini as their big data analytics platform. And uh, yeah, the most exciting part is for the share some user cases. It's a really a big one. OK, I can uh, show it later. So first, I would like to introduce a little bit about for my startup. We call it is uh, Kitty Jeans. It's coming from killing and intelligence. So what, what we formed by the team who created the Apache Killing project, and we raised the funding uh, in last year, and we this just, uh, you know, this uh, operated just in one year. And we, we are trying to do the same thing like other people doing in the big data area, right? Like uh, Cardella, like Databricks, like Confluence. And uh, Killing Jeans is the, work, the company behind Apache Killing. The difference is we are coming from uh, China, the world's the biggest big data market. Right, that's something different. That is an interesting use case later I can introduce you to. Okay, so first, what is a kidney? You know, this is a, we call it a magical animal in China legend. It's, a, it's a something we call it a gold zambra. It's something like called unicum in a, a west, west world. So this is a something, the same, same, same one. And when we are develop this project, uh, like four years before in eBay, we pick up this name for our project name. Then later on, we contributed to Apache Software Foundation. And so now it is, we call it Apache Kitty, which is we call Extreme OLAP Engine for Big Data. It is a leading open source uh, OLAP on Hadoop. I believe it is the number one today. It's growing very fast, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, organizations are adopted very fast. And this is the first uh, Apache, so Apache, Apache top level project from China and uh, recognized very much. You can see like the info world, we won two years, the best uh, open source big data tool. Yeah, okay. So yeah, if you have more info, you, you, you can check our website, killing.apache.org, and you can find more information over there. And back to the question is, what kind of uh, a challenge we want to resolve for our user. So you could see, we call that is an OLAP layer in the traditional data warehouse and the business industry, right? You have RDBMs on the, for, for, the, for, the, for the data storage and the processing. You have the uh, presentation layer for the reporting dashboard. But be between that, we call it a data mart layer, right? That is actually is a missing part today until killing comes. Right, so this is uh, what we are introduced to the, to the world. We call it the OLAP engine. And we are offering high performance and high concurrency for, the, uh, for, the, for that part. And also we are supported today, support like uh, batch and uh, streaming together. We also run native on uh, Hadoop. So that means you do not need to move data from Hadoop to like ADBMS, right? Oh, and it is cloud ready. Uh, I will show a, a, a use case later to how they set up a killing on top of uh, on, on AWS, okay. So, yeah, I told like uh, more than 200 use cases in production. There are a lot of logos here. Uh, sorry, a lot of uh, Chinese one, but trust me, <laughs> most of them are biggest giant in China from various industries. Yeah, most of them are coming from like uh, uh, internet companies, uh, say like Baidu, which is a top search company, with like Meituan, which is a top like uh, O2 company, like NetEase is a top like uh, uh, news company, and uh, beside that, we are doing very good in the traditional industry, say 
like a financial services. We have like a bank, we have like a telecom, we have like a, a manufacturing, retail, all of the advertising, game, a lot of them. And uh, you like the Oppo, which is uh, like a smartphone vendor, a lot of, a lot of them. So you, a, lot of, a lot of user cases, and uh, today I will introduce like uh, six or seven use cases later, okay. So before I'm talking about the use cases, I would like to give you an introduction about the background. What kind of technology behind of that? So you know, this is a very uh, traditional uh, Syria in a data warehouse and, and business intelligence area. We call it the OLAP cube. That means once you have a very huge data, the, you know, the query is always coming very slow, right? It is defined by the physical server. And so what we want to do is we want to can combination them and to do, actually do some calculation first and store somewhere. And the next time the same query coming, it can just get the result directly without the calculation on time, wrong time, right? So that is what we call this OLAP cube. It is uh, old technology I have to see, maybe more than like 20 years, right? From like IBM Kongonos, like Teledata, like Max Strategia, like business objects. Right, a lot of them are using that. But in big data area, we are the first one adopted this one, and this is the open source one. So how we do that? Think about it, there's a, a query which is want to uh, get the result for returned goods, like say how many, how many quantities and how, ma how many about the prices. Right, this is a very uh, easy like a circle. But think about it, if you have like a billion data, even like a trillion data, how fast you can get the result. And think about it, if this is just like join two ta one table, right? How, think about it, if it join like seven tables, each table has like a billion dimensions. What will happen? It will scan a lot of data and it will shuffle the data between the nodes, right? That is a challenge for today's MPP solution. So we pick, eventually, we pick up a, a technology, we call it a per calculation. So, Think about it, if you want to order something from factory, and if the factory to uh, process it on, uh, on, on demand and deliver it today, it may be like uh, three days later or even like three months later. But most of the goods, you actually, they are, the factory are actually process, produced first and ship to somewhere that we call the warehouse. And then you can just go to, the, go to the store and get it back. The same thing we do that. So for the data, it's the same. We do the per calculation for the most costive part, the table scan and the join. And put the result somewhere. And the next time, we can still do the query, but we, we ignore the, the table scan and the join at the wrong time. That is the magic behind of uh, Apache Kitty. Okay. So there are a lot of uh, challenges. See, the data will be exposed, right? and see how, how fast we can get the result ready, and how we store the data. A lot of, a lot of challenge. But we good at for that. Uh, today is, is good, and I can show some uh, performance later. And what we do is, we are defined this uh, Apache Kitty, and we will read the data from Hive, and today we also can uh, read the data from Kafka, and uh, in this month we will release a new version. It actually can read the data from any circle Hadoop. And we define the metadata inside the killing, and, we, and then the killing engine will automatically, it's automatically, generally to map reduce or spark tasks for you without coding. But this is because you already have the metadata, you already have the statistics, so we can help them to do that. And the only thing you need to do is to tell killing which is the dimensions and which is the measures. And after the processing, it will you know, interact with the cluster. After the processing, it will store the data to edge base. And uh, when the server coming, the, the, the query coming, it will just uh, call a edge base scan, get the result back, without high hit, without map reduce, even without spark jobs. So that is why cleaning is very fast. And uh, how fast it is compared to Hive? Okay, everybody compared to Hive. <laughs> So yeah, it is unfair, but for analysts, for the end user, they are only care about that. They only care about their experience. They only care, want, they only want to get the result on the finger in seconds, right? They don't care about the technology behind that. 
Okay, if we say compared to half is not unfair, how about compared to one popular circle on Hadoop? Actually, just before this session. This is what we do, okay. I will just not want to, do not want to put the name here. <laughs> okay, so you could see uh, this SF, we, we call the scale factors. One, a 10 is mean like a six, a six, 60 million lows. So you could see, no matter how many like, data we have, we will still keep you know, like a second latency. Yeah, we do the calculation. So that is unfair, right? But for our analyst, that is the most important. Okay. Another one, we call it a stable. Think about it. If you have like a million data, you can put it to in memory. So the data, is, the, the, the query is very faster. But if it's like growing to like billions or like trillions, you definitely cannot put all the data into memory. And think about it, if that have like a thousand con concurrency, well, you cannot put all the data in memory. And uh, then with the data growing, you know, the response time will definitely will go high. But with per calculation, we actually can keep flat right, for that way. That is what happened about that. We call it a stable. And the later on, we call it a scale. No matter how many data you have, uh, yeah, with uh, giving uh, a enough uh, cluster, right? We can guarantee the response time just in second level. So you could say from like uh, uh, 60 billion to like even billion level, we can keep it at that, that level. Okay, so this is uh, done some like a benchmark inside our lab, uh, but I will show some like use cases through the real data for you. So yeah, I will uh, introduce some of the uh, use cases. Okay, first. Uh, we call this analytics on trailing level data. Total, which is a top one news feed up, uh, mobile application in China, almost each Chinese has their app on their phone. We have a 1.4 billion population in China. Think about how, how big. You could see like the user, the DIU, the lot of things. And the challenge is that, you know, see, you could see, they have like just one application. They have like 100 billion day, billion loads per day were generated for the like impression. How you can store it? How you can query it? So that is the challenge they have. And so they built the uh, OLAP system based on Apache Keating. And today, yeah, it is already in, in production last year. Today, the biggest one we call it video impression. So then when you the user you know, watch the video through their application, there are a lot of data will be collected. So one cube contains 3,000 billion. That means 3 trillion data. Think about it. This, big, this data sitting in the hive, how slow the hive query will be, right? So the result using killing is less than one second for all the circle queries. That is their production data. It, uh, and it refreshes the data half hour. Every, every half hour. And also they have other like application. We uh, serve like more than 1,000 analysts nationwide. And the most important things we call it is one build for all queries. So if, if your query is only run like once a month, it makes sense to just uh, do the ad hoc query. But think about it. if that, that query, it will be run like 1,000 times per day, you, you do not need to run it every time to do the cluster, right? So that is what we say, the one build for all the queries. It reduced a lot of the cost for their cluster. And uh, they migrated the workload for the analytics to the killing cluster. So that is a lot, save a lot of, a lot of you know, hardware for, for them. This is a very big one, and this is not, one, not only the big one. <laughs> okay. And the second one, we call it is a Meituan, which I told is a, is a top one O2O company in China. Uh, yeah, almost each, kind, each Chinese people has, has this one. They do a lot of like takeaways, e-takeaways, hotel, movie, uh, a lot of things for the O2O event. And they generate a lot of like data. And before they uh, adopt Apache Keening, three years ago, they, are, they, are, they has a very big uh, Hadoop cluster, stored all the data, and for, for that part, they using my circle cluster to serve the, query, serve the analytics needs. That means they have to process the data inside the Hadoop cluster 
and copy the data to the my server cluster and then server the uh, front end queries. So think about that data latency will take a long time and also you have to move the data, right? And uh, also the MySQL cluster cannot serve a very, you know, bad performance. They cannot, right? So they are the most, uh, how say, a pure pilot user when we are open source uh, this, uh, our open source Apache Kidding, uh, like three years ago, and uh, they, yeah, they go with us very much and they adopt uh, Kidding as their core OLAP uh, platform inside that. And uh, today, that platform is a key, com a key system for their analysts and su support all their critical business lines. Okay, and so here is uh, some like a status. I do not want to mention all of them. I just wanted to highlight one thing is for the entire cluster. See, this is a TP is a mean the percentile. You could see like a 50 percentile sec query latency is just less like uh, uh, 87 million second. But for most of the query, almost all of the query, less than 1.3 second. Think about it. that is their data warehouse. That is why their analyst satisfied for, for our system because they, you know, their people can get the data very fast on their finger. They are using like a mobile application, like using something to uh, get, help, uh, let their people to get insight into such huge data. This is, uh, we call it OLAP on Hadoop. And the next one is just uh, from uh, Finesse, it's an insurance company. We call it a CPIC, it, we call it a China Pacific Insurance Company. Uh, yeah, this is a go with our enterprise version, but it's the same architecture. Pre uh, you know, finance company, finance uh, service company, are big fans of IBM Kanganos, especially in China. And the IBM Kanganos, they, they are facing a lot of uh, like challenges. The first is it cannot serve like a billing data. It cannot serve like so huge data, right? And also, they, they are, each of the finance companies they are building their big data platform. But what's the most challenge for them? The challenge is their analysts have to learn something called Spark, something called like MapReduce, something called like whatever machine learning. But actually, they don't care about that. They only want to leverage their existing experience and knowledge with their favorite tool using like a circle language only, right? You cannot force them to learn Java, force them to learn like a, a Spark or like MapReduce, or you cannot fire them, right? So the, way, the right way is to pick up some technology, can continue their skill and knowledge on the new technology. So that is why we, they pick up uh, a bunch of kidding on top of uh, their uh, Hadoop cluster. They have like uh, hundreds of nodes of a Hadoop cluster. And they build one application uh, on top of that to uh, serve their uh, insurance analytics national wide for the entire you know, China. And uh, the users is more than like thousands of users. Okay, and here is some like, like uh, uh, performance benchmark. We do some like uh, high concurrency benchmark with each of them are different uh, concurrency, like from 50 to like uh, 500 per second. And also then you can see the, uh, the Y is uh, the latency. Uh, you can see top one is like uh, 0 0.7 a second. So you can see it can serve a very high performance and high concurrency because that a lot of people, you know, each agent will using their application at the morning for the work. Right? That's a huge peak uh, application for that. So they have to find a, a application more stable, more faster. So that is why they build that one. And the benefit you could see, the analyst is happy because they are continue using their IBM Kanganos front end because they have like a 10 years or maybe 20 years experience on that. But replaced the OLAP part, the backend part with Apache Kini and also the big data uh, tech so that they can have a, a capability to insight into not only the transaction data, that they now can also insight into some behavior data. This is for the finance one. Okay. And another one we would like to introduce is OPPO. Uh, I'm not sure how many people are using OPPO, uh, OPPO device here, but it's very popular, right? <laughs> I have one, <laughs> it's really good, really good. And uh, they are 
they told me the top four, but maybe the top three, uh, global smartphone vendor just after Apple, Samsung, and uh, I'm not sure Huawei and uh, Oppo, who is a third, right? Very a big one. And they, you know, each uh, smartphone vendor, they will collect the data for the OS usage, say like uh, some like Aero, like some network issue, something else, right? If you uh, give, uh, grant permission for them. So they, have, they, they build a data warehouse actually uh, on top of uh, Hadoop using this Apache Kini one, and today they are replacing with our enterprise version. And so you could see this is from Luis, is my friend, uh, head of the big data uh, department, and the, the comments is really a great. So the thing is, they do not need to hire many people who, who is good at like say Spark or something. They, has a very, they have a very big you know, analyst group, and today using this platform, they can enable them to do the analytics by themselves and reduce the, the data warehouse build duration and effort very much. Right. So we, they, they, that is why they call it the, the efficiency is the productivity. Right. Okay. And you could see there are a lot of uh, you know, 100 billion data per day just for one application. And uh, most of the queries latency less than two seconds. So that is really fast. Okay, think about how, how big the data it is. And another one we call it Homelink. Homelink is a top one O2O real estimate agency services. They are growing very fast in the last three years. So you could see they opened the stores like five key stores in 2015 and eight key, uh, eight thousand stores next year. It's growing very, very fast, very aggressive. So the problem is how their executive and management team have the, we call it the unified KPI platform all over the, you know, the company, the group actually, right? So it's very hard to do that. And finally, they pick up uh, uh, Killing and uh, Hadoop. So they collect the data to, uh, ha to Hadoop and the processing in some like ETL schedule and uh, store it into Hive as the uh, first layer, uh, we call it the ODS layer. And then they pre prepare for the data in a killing, killing site. Yeah, we store the data to edge base. And then we are serve, we call it the, the indicator platform with the KPI platform. And so today you could see they're all critical KPIs being managed by this platform over like 170 KPIs are defined in this way. And all their honey, reporting, financing, and something else is based on that. So this is a one single choice for their business from the data side, this data perspective. So most of the queries also less than one second. And uh, they are very happy is because, you know, uh, it's very fast for them to build that uh, application. And they can more focusing on the, like, the KPI, KPI part, do not need to care about like, uh, the backend part. Right. Okay. So this is what we call it a home link. And another one, well, this is very exciting, you know, even for me. <laughs> I just got their use case uh, three days ago. <laughs> It's we call it is called is a shopping reporting system. You know, Yahoo Japan is actually the top one website in Japan, right? And uh, their shopping uh, shopping site is actually the something like a Tmall or like uh, eBay in here, right? It's very uh, very good way, and they build a reporting system to for their store for their store uh, owners to see the performance, how they sell, right? How how the uh, Performance in that. Previous, they are using uh, Impala as their backend uh, database, but it will take a long time, say like a six, uh, six, 60 seconds to open up their you know, web UI. It's, it, it cannot accept by the analyst, right? So today, they build this system with a killing, but this is not the most, this is not the important one. The most you know, exciting one is for that deployment. So actually you could see that is a d data center one, data center two, I can tell you is this is, a, this, uh, this is a serving their reporting analyst is a sitting in Japan, but that is sitting in another country, okay? In the, in the another side of Earth, okay? And they processing the uh, Killing Cube in, the, in their 
bigger Hadoop cluster. They call it a computing cluster. And then they ship like the cube files to, uh, to this uh, HBase cluster. And then it can serve, 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 uh, serve their users. That means Apache Kitten can help you to uh, serve geography reporting all over the world and keep the same like performance okay, everywhere. That is very interesting. Okay. Okay, and also, the comments is very great. Okay. And another one is I would like to introduce uh, this one. Uh, everybody are talking about cloud. So how about the killing on cloud? Uh, you know, uh, Struckling, which is the first uh, uh, startup graduated from a white combination, white combinator, uh, maybe like three or five years ago. And uh, their team today are located in China and also US. And uh, previous, they are using uh, one technology from their cloud vendor, uh, which, which, which is great, but the cost is very high, and also the performance is not very good. So what they want to do is, you know, they are helping uh, people to create their own website, right? It's a very easy way to uh, uh, pick up their like, template and something, even for like, uh, somebody who do not have any like, technology background can create a website in like minutes. So they wanted to know about their like PV, UV, they wanted to learn about their user behavior, they wanted to know about their product uh, usage, so that they have to build something. And so this is what, 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 what something looking like, something like uh, Google Analytics, right? And today, they are building that one with uh, uh, AWS EMR and uh, Apache Kitty. So the interesting thing is they also split this uh, uh, workload to two clusters. One is using like a Yammer, which is called is Electix Compu Electix Computing Cluster. And another one is just for the, for server the query. It just have a seat like, uh, I'm not sure how many like nodes, but it's, it's a small one. So that means, you know, you do not need to open your cluster for 24 hour, right? So what they do is when this is coming, they will reside in the Yammer cluster to a very big, and let it to run the processing to do the calculation. And after that, you will copy the data to another cluster and then shut down that cluster. Well, that's save, cl save cost, right? And uh, you know, the query performance is still very good. And also, you know, their, their, analysis, uh, their users is coming from uh, uh, all over the world. So that is uh, when they are put it to the cloud, it will be easy to manage all over the world. So yeah, there are a lot of uh, different uh, uh, user cases, and uh, some of them are coming from like uh, uh, Europe, like uh, Glispa, which is a German company for the advertising. So yes, this, and the more you can uh, check from our Powered By page. Okay, you can over there, and our community is really uh, healthy, active, and a lot of people are coming to us and raise their hands, and uh, a lot of uh, you know user cases are coming very soon. So yeah. Please come to us, and we can uh, we can discuss for that. And also, yeah, another thing is uh, uh, from eBay. You know, this project is actually originated in uh, eBay, uh, like uh, three or four years ago. And so there are a lot of uh, user cases uh, inside eBay. Migrated some like workload from uh, Teladata to uh, uh, to Kitten and uh, Hadoop cluster. And also, we have one uh, one application uh, to uh, migrate one uh, application using Google Analytics and BigQuery. To, uh, to the local one, you know, because eBay do not want to keep the data by another vendor, right? They wanted to have the data. So they buy the data and uh, pull it back uh, into their Hadoop cluster, but they need something can help on that. So this is, uh, actually, this is the first use case in, in eBay go, go, go in production like three years ago. It, it pit, uh, you know, Google Analytics very much, you know. That's a very interesting one, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, if you want to check, uh, Kidding, you can go to the Kidding website, and also if you would like to uh, know about our startup, you can go to uh, kiddingjins.io, and if you have any like, question, uh, feel free to uh, drop me an email. Okay, so yeah, my session here, but I will take a little minutes for Q&A. Do you have any like question? Yeah, good question. So actually, how many, uh, how, how many like, uh, you know, storage for Kitten to store, right? Uh, we have one uh, 
metrics to a calculation for we call the ex expansion rate. That means how many storage we need compared to the original uh, storage. So in most of the case from our production case, it just take like 10% to 20% of your original data. Say if you have like 100 terabyte hive table, we just need to like say uh, 10 or like 20 gigabyte storage for that, for, for Kini is good enough. Yeah, but this is a very, very, very uh, depends on your like cluster, on your data model, on your dimension and a lot of things. Some of them maybe like uh, be 10 over the original one, but some over like maybe just 1% of the, that one. Yeah, but most of the case, it just maybe like 20%. Okay, okay, the back end first, sorry. Sorry, could you repeat? Okay, good question. So the question is, uh, you already have a cluster with like a high edge base, like uh, a Spark, everything else, right? How, uh, how workload you need to allocate for the try to Apache Kini, right? So this is uh, one, one interesting thing is Apache Kini is it will do not require too much of like uh, DevOps or as I say admin. You just need to download the tar file and uh, unzip it and uh, start it, just three steps. The very, very important thing is Apache Kini do not require install anything to your name node or data node. All of them will uh, using the, the standard APIs and uh, you just need to pick up one one node, Some, sometimes we call it edge node, which is a, your cluster client, we call it Hadoop client. That's all, you just need to install it there. That's good enough. Okay, and for the like uh, resources, it will depend on how many data you wanted to try. We recommended to try a small one, even with our like example data first. Uh, normally, if for a one, one people who has experience with uh, like uh, Hadoop, it can be done in like a half or even one day. Yeah, you can try it. Okay. <laughs> so, so I have mentioned that we are the first top level project from China. So when we are go to Apache Software Foundation, our mentors challenge us very much. They said, well, it's West and the East. It's, uh, it's maybe the English, maybe a problem, maybe the culture, maybe problem, something else, right? But finally, after like 11 months uh, in Kubernetes, we graduated to the top level project. We got a lot of a positive feedback from our mentors. And uh, trust me, um, most of the contrib con uh, contributors, committers, PMC members, their English are better than me. You know, that we, we have uh, each of the engineer in China, uh, they, they have to get some like uh, English certification, something else, right? So, and uh, one thing I have to mention is uh, since at the beginning, we are run this community globally, so we force our, each of our member to, uh, you know, discuss and uh, uh, like write a document in English only. So even today, you, you, can, you do not have find like the, say, Chinese interface for Apache Kili. <laughs> so some, sometimes, you know, I have been challenged very much in, in China. Yeah. And uh, you, you could check the email list, you could see the discussion is very active and most of them, yeah, in English. Okay, good. So the question is, uh, uh, do you need uh, like uh, some, some program skill set background uh, for to run the Apache Kini, right? And to do the like project, right? No. <laughs> the only language you need to know is SQL. Yeah, so you just need to find some people can to uh, bring up your Kini services. Yeah, that is maybe a little bit like script, right? But I think it's easy, yeah. And once that uh, service is up, the only thing you need is your BR, B, business intelligence and the data warehouse expertise, circle languages, 
and you just, uh, we have a very uh, fancy like a GUI, yeah, even with like open source one, it's very easy to have a, a wizard for say, hey, pick up the tables, define the dimensions, drag and drop for the measures, uh, pick up some like uh, settings. All the things you need to know is about that. And once that cube like ready, you can pick up like a Tableau, like Excel, Power BI, Microsoft every like uh, uh, BI tools you can use and connect and pick up the, we call it the killing like ODBC or JDBC driver. It's the same as like the MySQL. Okay, let me, uh, the final let, me, let me back to this way, picture. Okay, so yeah, we, we build the cube inside like after the killing, but we open the circle interface for all the, you know, up, downstream computers, yeah. So the only thing, something you could think about the killing as a read-only data warehouse. So you have like our ODBC driver, and you can put like host name, username, and the play with the same, same way as your like my circle connector. Yeah, so only thing you need to know is a circle. Yeah, and we offer ODBC driver, we offer JDBC driver, and also REST API, so it's very easy to connect it to all your applications. Ah, good. Uh, let me check to uh, this one. Yeah, actually, the build time, it will take uh, a little bit of time. Uh, it's very hard to give you a uh, formula to uh, calculate that, but I can give some like uh, reference uh, for like uh, that uh, uh, total use case. If we see the three training da billing data in uh, sitting in the uh, one, they build that, that, that cube uh, half hour, each half hour, uh, so that, uh, that, in, that incremental data is very heavy. And uh, one case is from China Mobile. Their incremental data is like two billion loads per day, about like 100 terabyte. And their cube build uh, process is about like one to two hours. But their cluster is really, really uh, how they powerful. Yeah. It, it really depends on how about the, your, your data structure. Yeah. Um, more dimensions will take uh, more times to build. And uh, I, today we have like the streaming, streaming part. So that means we can consume data from Kafka. That means, uh, so think about it. If you have like one, one, uh, 100 billion data per day, and uh, at the end of the day to build that, that data will take a lot of long time. But we, if within like the Kafka, right, you can split it to see like uh, every hour, even like every five minutes, right? Is it, is it real-time We call it the streaming near real-time. Near real time. <laughs> we will try to do, we call it a real, real time, maybe later of this year. Yeah, it's a, today we, we have a demo. You can go to like a hub.kdjins.io. We have like a consuming the Twitter, Twitter streaming. It's about like three, uh, five, five minutes uh, latency. Yeah, question. Uh, don't you think it's kind of downtime during the PC? Good question. No. Uh, so think about if you already have like uh, the like uh, the older data, right? And that that cube is serving all the like queries, right? So the question is, once the new data coming, is there any like downtime, right? No, there's no. We will uh, keep the existing cube to serving for the query and build the new one. And uh, after the new one is ready, we will do some like append or even like if you want to like totally refresh that, it will be a, do a like a hot swap. So there's no downtime. Uh, for today, for streaming, we are, we are consuming from like uh, Kafka, but we do not uh, uh, do any like uh, streaming processing. That means you need to find a way to, to do the join or something else before uh, killing cubes processing. Yeah. Okay, any other question? A circular layer, we are using Apache Kai site. Yeah, and uh, Apache Kai site is um, uh, also, uh, Jolene is our, actually our mentor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a very good project. Okay, any other question? Okay, thank you. Yeah, please uh, drop me an email if you have any like a question. And uh, I think you can get this slide later from uh, Strata. And uh, yeah, please let me know if you have any interesting want to try. Okay, thank you.